To the South Valley now, where a pistachio company is recovering after fire destroyed millions of dollars worth of product. And authorities say rain helped ignite the fire. To explain that, let's check in with Action News reporter Gilbert Magallon, live with more on the damage left behind. Gilbert? Margo, Jason, we're at Aero Pistachio, and I'm actually walking through what used to be bins of pistachio. Now, I want you guys to take a look at this. The heat from that fire was so intense that it melted pistachios and plastic together. Now, this is only one of 350 bins that were destroyed. Pistachios and plastic melted together. This may seem like some kind of strange art, but it's actually the destruction left behind by a fire at Aero Pistachio in Terrabella. It happened Monday morning at 3. The Tulare County Fire Department says rainwater seeped into stored containers of aluminum phosphate, a fumigant used in food processing. They took all necessary precautions to prevent this. Uh, the water was able to get in there and cause a chemical reaction with the fumigant. A fire broke out immediately, igniting 280 tons of pistachios that were ready for shipment. Adam O'Randy, CEO of Aero Pistachio, says he couldn't believe his eyes. It went up so fast. It was something like you see in the movies. It was like two, three minutes from the, si uh, the time we saw the ignition source to, it was like a Roman candle. O'Randy says the fire burned at least a day, and when it was finally out, $1.7 million worth of damage was left behind. It's unfortunate for not just my family, but the families that um, this company supports. We, we have about 100 families that count on us. According to Tulare County Fire, the damage could have been more devastating. It could have gotten much worse had the fire spread to their equipment and to their packing facility. O'Randy says this time of the year is one of the busiest for his company. He had customers lined up waiting for deliveries, deliveries that can no longer be fulfilled. We're right at kind of the deadline for Chinese New Year. That's a big customer for us, China in general. Um, some disappointed customers. I had to make some tough phone calls. O'Randy says all he can do now is move forward. I have terrific employees and, and everybody has pitched in to try to, uh, you know, limit our losses and we'll, we'll, we'll move on. Luckily, no one was hurt and no buildings were damaged. Orandi says the next step is to file an insurance claim, and once, that done, once that's done, they'll know what to do with all this mess. Live in Tarabella, Gilbert Maggione, ABC 30 Action News.